Got a really quick revision video here for the AS Enthalpy Change Calculations. So I'm breaking it into four sections using mean bond enthalpies, using calorimetry results, using enthalpies of formation and using enthalpies of combustion. So we'll start with mean bond enthalpies. First thing you need to do is you need to calculate the energy absorbed and that breaks all the bonds in the reactants. So we're calling that the energy in. And just remember that breaking bonds is an endothermic process. Next thing we'll do is calculate the energy that's going to be released when the bonds in the products are made. Making bonds is an exothermic process, so I'm calling that energy out. And then the enthalpy change, the delta H for the process, is the energy in minus the energy out. Using calorimetry results now. So the first thing we need to do is calculate the energy released if the reaction is exothermic or absorbed if it's endothermic using the Q equals MC delta T expression. And the most common mistake I see is the incorrect use of M. M is the mass of the surroundings. So if it's, for example, an alcohol is being burned to heat up some water in a metal calorimeter, the M would be the mass of the water that's in the beaker. So M is the mass of the surroundings. Just think of it as the mass of the substance whose temperature gets changed by the reaction. The Q comes out in joules, so the next thing I would do is convert that straight to kilojoules. We then need to calculate the moles of the chemical involved in the reaction. So using the example of the alcohol, it will be mass divided by MR. Or if it's a solution, it will be the concentration of the solution multiplied by the volume. And just to calculate delta H now, it's Q in kilojoules divided by the moles and then at the very very end just ask yourself was it exothermic and if so it needs the a minus sign and if it's endothermic the delta H needs a positive sign. Using enthalpies of formation now so you need to look closely at the question if the data supplied in the question so nothing to do with the reaction that you find in the enthalpy change for if you're given data, which is enthalpy change of formation, we can use this equation to calculate the enthalpy change for the reaction. So that's the sum of the enthalpies of formation of the products minus the sum of the enthalpies of formation of the reactants. And I've got this silly way to remember it. If you're using enthalpies of formation, it's products minus reactants. So for par, formation, products, reactants. And finally, using enthalpies of combustion now. Again, look closely in the question if the data in the question is enthalpy of combustion, irrespective of the type of equation or reaction that you have to calculate the enthalpy change for. We can use the same equation as before, but it's the other way around. So the enthalpy change for the reaction is the sum of the enthalpies of combustion of the reactants minus the enthalpies of combustion of the products. And the word I use to remember that one is crap. Combustion, reactants, products.